Nursing constitutes the largest workforce in the U.S. with 3.1 million active registered nurses. According to the National State Boards of Nursing and the Foreign of State Nursing Workforce Centers, nearly half of the nursing workforce is age 50 or older and will be considering retirement within the next decade. This trend affects mainly nursing specialty, which function in highly intricate environments that often require a unique set of skills and high levels of critical thinking abilities. With nearly half of the nursing workforce exiting in the next decade, new nurse graduates are the only possible option. If we do not invest in them now, we'll be missing an extraordinary opportunity to pass on nursing wisdom and experience from one generation to another. El Camino Hospital's perioperative nursing residency program developed an academic practice partnership with the University of San Francisco that allowed ample collaboration between the two institutions. USF provided their academic expertise to lead didactics and El Camino Hospital was responsible for the clinical aspect of the training. It's changing how we are educating these nurses rather than moving through a specific framework uh, post-graduation. USF partnered with community hospitals because we need a clinical site and together we collaboratively made this um, Periop 101 class. I just finished with some scenarios today where they're practicing Periop check-in and then skills labs. I wish you could have seen the scenarios that we just did. It was a perfect blend of old timers with their experience and new grads saying, hey, how about this? And it just really meshed. The OR training program here at El Camino Hospital came about just fortuitously. Of course, we've been studying our workforce and particularly in the perioperative area, we do have an aging workforce. We are recruiting more physicians to our hospital um, and Surgical volume is a profitable business and it's something that inpatient acute care hospitals are always looking to increase uh, surgical volume and so with increased volumes become uh, require increased staffing needs and so we're going to see that with our aging population in general in the United States um, with the baby boomers reaching the time in their life when they're going to need additional surgical procedures um, and the overall population health not being as favorable as it should be. Um, we anticipate increased need for, for surgical resources in, in the community. After the residency program I went from graduating, well graduating nursing school in 2011 without ever having an interview, a callback, nothing to graduating the residency program and having an amazing resume and two job offers and another potential job offer after the residency program and that was immediately after. And I think I started at El Camino four weeks after I finished uh, the residency program so that was that was huge. That was huge to me because I had never received a callback. No leads, no potential of ever working in a hospital in any unit so to be able to do that was amazing. I definitely feel that going through the Periop 101 program gave me the skills to operate functionally with minimal assistance in an OR setting. I felt very comfortable coming from my host hospital to the place where I'm currently employed. I felt like I was able to do basic cases by myself within one week with minimal supervision. Towards the end of the Periop 101 program, I applied to many different hospitals in the states of California, Washington, and in Texas. I received five offers and did get the offer from the hospital that I really wanted to be employed at. As a magnet hospital, El Camino is dedicated to transformational leadership, nursing satisfaction, and opportunities for professional development for our registered nurses. As the Chief Nursing Officer, I listen to our teams as we identify the need to support education and transitions, not only for our current workforce to move to higher levels of skill, but also in creating a vision and a plan to bring new nursing graduates into our workforce. In addition to the OR training program, we were able to support and educate four RNs who transitioned to the critical care unit, and three RNs who received training to move to our cardiac cath lab and held a successful new graduate program class. 
Our goal is to continue to evaluate and support the needs of our changing workforce, utilizing the skill and expertise of our educators and staff mentors to continue to provide opportunities for all levels of registered nurses. We always strive to maintain and improve the excellent patient care and outcomes that we take pride in.